Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use integration services connectors in your apps and how you can actually enhance the speed and the performance of your app. So usually before uh, integration services is there, for every small thing, uh, if you wanted to run a, a backend process, we will call a process and or else we have to start a trigger in order to fetch the values and showcase on the app. So this will definitely invite some latency and uh, not have good user experience while using the app. But with integration services, we would eliminate that latency because we have connectors which expose the APIs that runs uh, the processes on the app itself with the back, which are the backend processes and uh, by using the APIs. And this enhances the user experience and also give better, uh, you know, speed to our app. So today I'm going to showcase you one demo, how you can actually use your connectors on app and how you can make this user experience in a much more better way so let me just showcase you um i will just give you a, a brief of what is my connector that i'm going to use in this particular demo and later i am going to show you how i can use that connector into my app so I have created one connector, which is app connector. So basically what it has inside it. Let me just open that connector. So I've just created this connector. It has an API which gives me the list of. So if you see this, this is an get request, right? So this has an API that gives me an output. So let me just show you the response of this. So for the provided, this uh, basically gives me the price of the stock for the symbol that I have provided. OK, so this needs the input uh, from the user, which is our symbol, right? The company name and based on that, it provides the price of that particular stock as an output. So the whole thing, uh, we, we can run it in the app itself. So if I can just show you. So if you see here for IBM. I'm just running the process and then it has called an API. It fetched the details and immediately it has shown it on my app, right? For Tesla, correct? So similarly, for any of the thing, if I just call the, uh, if I just put put out the uh, symbol over here, it takes the value of it and then it runs an API in the backend and then it provides the value. So this is very quick and very fast. If you have to do it without integration service, you have to run a process. You have to, you know, that there's definitely a latency. You have to pass all the variables and then get the output from there and you have to do it. So this, even though if you run an API in the process, it definitely takes a lot of time and it causes a lot of latency. So now with this particular integration service, the API that I have over here is this, which requires a symbol that I am giving it through my app. And it also definitely needs an API key, which I have provided it over here. And then it returns me the price of the stock, right? So this is my whole uh, connector that I have here, which gets me the value of the stock. Right. So how I can use this particular connector, how I can actually uh, use this in my app is something that I'm going to show you here because this is just one example that I've taken. You can have a different types of connectors. You can build a custom connectors if you don't have anything existing. And once you publish them, right, once you publish the connector. So I will clearly do uh, one more video on uh, separate series on integration services. But this is just to show you if you already have a connector in place, how you can use that connector on the apps. This is not a clear or, a, you know, in depth video on creating the connectors or, you know, establishing the connectors or publishing the connectors. So this video is morely more concentrated on how to utilize your existing connectors and how you can build the best app with great user experience. So, <clears throat> so here, if you see that I have connected, uh, published my connector over here. So if we go towards uh, the connections, so inside the connections, 
here we can see that once you publish it will be available like this correct and uh, you can see that the status of this is connected so once this is connected then later we can go ahead with the app so this is my app that i have just give me a moment so if you see here, uh, this is my app that I have it. So first of all, you have to go to the connections and you have to uh, bring that connector or, you know, uh, just like our entities, you have to bring that connector into your app studio. So for that, I'm just giving app connector. So if you see here, if you don't have it already, just uh, click on add new connection and then it will just show you uh, the authentication and everything should be done. Uh, so here it is asking for all of these details because it's a what's a business one. But if you have your app, uh, app connector or whatever the connector, it will be authenticating with all the permissions and then you should be able to have that connector over here. So once it's here, what I'm doing uh, here, I'm just having the stock ticker value. That means the uh, company name that I'm going to provide it in into my API and the output, the value, the price output, which I am fetching from there, right? So these are the two small things that I'm having. One is input and the other one is output. And on a click of the button, what I have to do, I have to run the API, I have to call the API. So what I'm exactly doing here is on clicking, so I'll just write this, recreate this one more time. I'm calling the app connector. And here, if you see, as of now, I have only one API, which is to fetch the stock value, right? So if you have multiple, it will list all the APIs below. Uh, based on your requirement, you can choose the one. So I'm taking this. And what is the symbol value? The symbol value is something that I am going to get from here. Right, this is my symbol value, the default, uh, yeah, dot value. Just um, can change or I can just select from here the value, right? Whatever the value that I provide in over there. So that is the value and API key and the function will be auto generated as soon as you select the uh, API that you want. So what exactly we are doing over here, once after you click that, it generates the it generates a value that which is our price. So once it's completed, I am just setting the value, which is price, right? I've already uh, declared a variable called price, which is of the type double. Okay. So, so here I am going to declare uh, or set the value to the price. So what is the value that I'm do, uh, uh, generating here is this is something which is really important because we are whenever we are calling a, or, you know, doing an API call, we get the output in a certain format. So we have to deserialize that and we have to get that in a required format. So if you see over here, the output of this is this, correct? So it is coming in this particular format, but we need the value of price, which is this one. So in that case, we have to deserialize this whole JSON, correct? So for that purpose, I'm writing this particular expression. So where I'm deserializing that dictionary and then on click of the button, I'm getting this particular response. From the raw response, I'm extracting uh, inside global code and uh, zero five price token. So after this, I'll get a value which I'm converting into, into double and I'm so storing that into a variable called price. Okay, I hope this is clear. And after that, I am displaying that value over here. So if you see that value, I'm displaying it over here. So which is quite simple. So it's just that if you have a connector already, so in the next series, which is integration service series, I'm going to show you how you can create connectors, what are the connectors, how you can establish the connections, how you can actually utilize them for triggering the process and everything in a much more detailed way. So if you, but this video is about how you can utilize that existing connectors into your apps. Okay. So now my stock ticker value I'm going to give as IBM and the value is generated.
right so this is perfect so i hope you understood the content of this this is uh, about how you can utilize the connectors how you can bring them into your app and how you can run those apis within the app in order to enhance the user experience and make it much more better without latency or without calling the processes within the app and you know which uh, invites a lot of delay so yes that's all in this video i hope you found this video insightful and informative if so please do let me know in the comments and also do subscribe to my channel i'm going to come up with a series on integration services or uh, the much more in-depth videos so uh, if you don't want to miss any of them do subscribe and also turn on the notifications thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video